as if they needed any more help on these super speedways. Yes, RFK has announced today that they're going to open up a part-time third Cup Series car. And in the Daytona 500, the driver will be David Reagan. David Reagan, of course, a former RFK driver back when they were Roush Fenway racing. He actually won a race with them at Daytona in the summer of 2011. Almost won that 2011 Daytona 500, in fact. Uh, but yes... Kind of the Ford version, maybe, maybe, just maybe, of Project 91. They announced a couple days ago that they had an announcement and the number 60 was coming soon. And so, you know, a lot of people, there was speculation, is it a Cup Series thing? Could they be bringing an Xfinity program back? Because the last time the number 60 was run was in the Xfinity Series. Uh, remember, their current Cup Series driver, Prosper Texas' own Chris Buescher, actually won his Xfinity Series championship in 2015 with the number 60. Uh, but no, this will be a Cup Series car. It will be part-time. The only date that has been determined is the Daytona 500 with former Roush driver David Reagan. We'll talk about it more, but let's look at the details first. RFK Racing announces Stage 60 BuildSubmarines.com to partner for team's third Daytona 500 entry. David Reagan to pilot BuildSubmarines.com Ford and Daytona 500. RFK Racing has announced that it will field a third entry in the 2024 Daytona 500 with David Reagan as the driver of the number 60 BuildSubmarinesFord.com Ford. All, of the, all part of the Stage 60 program, which brings back the iconic number 60 to NASCAR with its RFK debut in the NASCAR Cup Series. The number 60 car represents an opportunity for us to honor our past and look forward to the future of RFK Racing, said Steve Newmark, President, RFK Racing. We're thankful to have partners like BuildSubmarines.com who, like us, have a mission to grow and be best in class in all endeavors. Stage 60 kicks off with Reagan at Daytona Speed Weeks. Plans to expand the program will be announced at a later date with the intent of on the number 60 competing in additional events in 2024. Stage 60 features a modern retro font for the famed number 60 while introducing a logo that pays homage to the iconic Roush Stage 3 Mustang while also staying true to RFK's current brand marks. So yes, the number 60 is back. It's back in the Cup Series. Uh, yeah, so... There's a few different things to think about with this thing. Uh, Build Submarines, of course, jo joined RFK last year. They were on both the 6 and the number 17 car. Uh, so not surprised to see them expand their horizons with RFK when opening a new car. Uh, David Reagan, as I said, uh, he's a great super speedway racer. We have seen him part-time, usually only the Daytona 500 the past few years. He's raced at front row, as I said, Roush. Uh, but he's actually got two career wins with those teams. He's got a win with Roush back in 2011. He's got a win with Front Row back in 2013 at Talladega. So he's a great super speedway racer. He keeps it clean. He's up front uh, at the end of these things. So I expect him to actually do well in the Daytona 500. And also he's another helper for RFK, a two-car team. We've seen when Chris Buescher and Brad Keselowski are together, they can be a deadly threat. They have won a race at Daytona in the summer last year. They have been up front at a lot of these races. Remember the, the Daytona 500 last year, they were up front near the end of this thing uh, before a late caution came out. So RFK Racing is going to have a shot at this Daytona 500 with Busher and Keselowski. It's still a long shot, I'm going to say, with David Reagan, but now they have you know some extra help, an extra pusher. Uh, but he will have to qualify for the Daytona 500 because this will be an open car. Remember, 36 cars guaranteed a spot thanks to their charters, which includes Keselowski and Busher. David Reagan will have to race his way in, whether that's through single car qualifying or through the duels, depending on how he does. As for the number 60 coming back, it's cool. You love to see it. I love seeing history come back in NASCAR. Um... But what are they going to do with it? They're calling it Stage 60. You know, we saw Trackhouse open a third car last, or 2022, and they called it Project 91. And everyone's like, oh, Project 91? You know, this seems like a pretty, if you're going to name it, that seems like a pretty permanent thing that's going to happen. Not every race permanent, but, you know, a part-time schedule, getting different drivers in it. And that's what they've done. We've seen Kimi Raikkonen in that car. We've seen Shane Van Gisbergen in that car. Of course, SVG trying to go to NASCAR full-time. So is this the Ford version of the Project 91? 
RFK kind of modernizing itself. We've seen them essentially do a rebrand or redo ever since Brad Keselowski joined the ownership group. Um, we've seen a lot change at Roush over the past just couple of years alone, but they become more competitive. They won three races with Chris Buescher last year. They made it into the round of eight with Chris Buescher. I think they made it into the round of 12 with Brad Keselowski. Brad still yet to get that first win with the team, but he will more than likely get it this year if I had to guess. So the team is back to relevancy, safe to say. So is this third car going to be the Project 91 for Ford? We've seen Toyota. They don't have an official name for theirs, but we've seen a third car at 2311, the 67. We've seen international drivers go into that car. We've seen Travis Pastrana in the Daytona 500. We saw Kamui Kobayashi at Indianapolis. So Chevy has their thing with Project 91. And even Brody Kostecki was in the 33 car for RCR as well. So that's another Chevy thing. Toyota has their thing with the 67 car. And we've seen how that works for 2311. But Ford has yet to do anything. You know, this whole international driver appeal has really appealed to a lot of fans, it seems like. And it also brings in fans from all over the world trying to get new fans into NASCAR. Whether it's from Australia, New Zealand. Whether it's from Japan, England, uh, wherever it may be. And NASCAR's trying to, or the teams, everyone is trying to get those new fans. So is this Ford's attempt at that is my question. I guess we will see down the road who is going to be in the 60 car. David Reagan is the first one up. He's an RFK alumni. Is that the proper term? I don't know if that's the right terminology. Um, but he's also a great super speedway racer, as I said. But down the road, when we go to the road courses, who will we see in that car um, what international drivers could potentially, will there be? Once again, there's nothing confirmed. I am just speculating to the max. Um, but you never know, I guess. We'll see in the future. But it's a unique project for um, for RFK. As I've said, they've changed a lot over the past couple of years since Brad joined the team. It seems like they are indeed trying to expand their horizons. And whether that means getting an Xfinity team back, we'll see. But as of now, it's going to be two full-time Cup Series teams, uh, a part-time Cup Series team, and we will see how that first attempt goes with David Reagan. No paint scheme yet, but we do know that it's going to be sponsored by Build Some Marines. We know David Reagan is in the car. So as for the channel, uh, yeah, so let me actually check this real quick before I start talking. Yeah, so I was originally going to do my top 10 national anthems of the Formula One season today. But there's this news and there's a chance that there's more news this afternoon with the TV deal. And I'm considering, or I was considering, and then I asked you the people, 76% of you said you want the video tomorrow by itself. So I'm going to announce it right here that the top 10 national anthems will be tomorrow. Tomorrow, no matter what though, like no matter what happens tomorrow will indeed be the top 10 national anthems. I have all my notes out. I've got it ready. I just have to record and edit. So I have to do the majority of it. But the notes are there, so we're good. Uh, but yeah, so that will be tomorrow now. I've officially postponed it, I guess. But thanks for watching this video. Sorry to disappoint you if you were looking forward to the National Anthems today, but you're getting it tomorrow. Um, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the number 60 car coming back, on David Reagan being in that car, and what the future of this project could hold. Or Sorry, the stage, stage 60 what it could be, and I will talk to you guys maybe later today if the TV deal is announced.